Yes, YouTube, how are you doing? I hope you're all well. Hope you're having a fantastic week and a special hello to all my subscribers. Thank you very much for following me. And as always, I hope you're getting uh, a lot from the videos. And if you ever need a video done for anything that you're experiencing, then just give me a shout and I'll see what we can do. Um, today's video, what I thought I'd do is, any of you on crutches or any of you sit down a lot, you'll notice that your shoulders will come forward, chest will close, if you're on crutches, you find that the shoulders come through as well and sometimes they hunch up a little bit. So what happens basically is all these muscle groups here get very, very tight, very overactive. The shoulders round forward, tightening the chest so you'll get a tight chest and you'll definitely need to do some stretching there. But also the back muscles, they'll stop uh, working as effect effectively as they should do. So instead of muscle groups allowing you to keep the shoulders in position, we tend to slouch and shrug the shoulders back up again. So this little exercise you can do with a chair, you can do on the sofa. I've got myself a step uh, made up. Main thing is just make sure that it's not gonna fall over anywhere, okay? So what I'm gonna get you to do, place your hands either side of you, and the goal really is to keep the chest up, shoulder blades down, staying nice and tall. Hands either side, and lock the elbows out. Use your triceps to keep that elbow uh, completely locked. If you do have hypermobile um, elbows, which go beyond 180 degrees, just be careful of that. You may just wanna go to straight instead of full lockout, what other people can do. So the triceps get nice and strong, they push down, lift the chest up, and you're gonna keep the elbows locked, but all you're gonna do, slowly, allow the shoulders to shrug up to the ears. But again, no elbow bend, keep the elbows locked. If you wanna move the arms out further, you certainly can do. And then from here, push, or I should say pull the shoulder blades down. I say push, but actually muscles only pull. We may push, but muscles only pull. So push down with the arms, which gets these muscle groups and these muscle groups active. Chest up, down, stretch, shrug, and then mindfully push the arms down and open the chest. Try not to shrug forwards. And if you do have a mirror or something in front of you, just see if one shoulder is higher than the other. Try and get both shoulders down and the chest up. Hold for one second, come back down. Lift up, hold for two seconds. Come back down. Back up, three seconds. Now every time you come back down, don't allow gravity to take over and just collapse. Control that movement. Get the full shrug, full range of movement. Push down again through the shoulder blades, lift the chest up, open the chest, squeeze the shoulder blades together a little bit. Then we can come back down and back up. And what I would do is do uh, 10 repetitions. Hold the first repetition for one second, second for two seconds, five for five seconds, and obviously the 10th repetition for 10 seconds. We're looking at building up some endurance because Good posture is basically as soon as you get out of bed until you lie back down again. So whether you're sitting or standing or on crutches, you always want as optimal posture as possible to help with shoulders, help with breathing, and just basic biomechanics, okay? So remembering, don't bend the elbows. Go slowly in both movements. Hold when we're all the way up because that's the exercise we're trying to learn. And then if you did want to add some more resistance to this, what you could do is at the moment, I've got my legs bent, bring my legs forward. And again, shrug, back up again. And this is actually gonna be really good as a great way, a, a great training tool for an exercise which you can actually progress this onto. And it's called a tricep dip. So we've learned how to control our shoulders, shoulder blades, and when people do a tricep dip, what you'll notice is they'll actually shrug 
their shoulders as they bend the elbows. So what we do is this is the core stability element, set the back muscles, set the shoulder blades, keep pushing the arms down, keep pushing the arms down as you bend the elbows, keep the core stability through the shoulders, lift back up again, and hopefully the shoulders haven't hunched. So all that work through a bit of lats, but actually it's a little bit of lower trapezius muscle groups. Get those working, pull the shoulders down, lift the chest up, learn during the exercise, learn during the repetitions, feel how to actually work those muscle groups, and then um, at work, during your day-to-day -day life, um, try and apply those posture habits. And then when we get back onto our crutches again, instead of hunching, push down, lift that chest up, okay? Hope that's helped some of you. Um, as always, if you want a video done, give me a shout, DM me, uh, put it on the comments below. Uh, you can find me on Instagram, City Trainer. Um, got loads more videos on there and just more about how, um, how my leg went with the rehab, how it went with the break, the operation, the rehabilitation, and then where I am now. Okay, hope you have a good afternoon, good morning, good day, wherever you are in the world. Take care and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.